Grangere, the current uh, world champion in standard class. Hello. <laughs> and uh, how was your flight today? Very bad. <laughs> Very bad flight. <laughs> well, tell us about it. How did it um, go? We need to climb, and I don't succeed to climb enough, so I did Bef three... Before the start, you mean? Sorry? Before the start? Uh, no, no, before the start was okay, no problem. Uh, good start, very good first... Uh, first... Uh, come on, the uh, leg. <laughs> first, first leg, leg. yes. Mm -hmm. Second leg, two, and then uh, on the third leg, we need to climb uh, a lot. The clouds were at uh, 3,000 meters, mm -hmm. and I fall down to 1,000 meters. Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> and this was on the other side of Mount Caputari, yeah? Yes, maybe. And uh, I did three times a very bad point, uh -huh. very low points, so uh, it's too much <laughs> to fly fast. <laughs> right, so you had to scratch away three times. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's not a good day. <laughs> and you, you were saying you were getting trashed, I think. We yes. call it in English. You were getting kind of yes. beaten down by... Yes, it was uh, like, you know, uh, I come from uh, South Alps. You know, when you are uh, at the wrong side of the mountain, <laughs> yes, yes. you don't understand and <laughs> all is falling. <laughs> you're saying as the mist comes in, yes. you're on the wrong side of the mountain. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, mm. it was a flight. <laughs> well, well, Aude actually won the, uh, the uh, standard class competition yesterday. Um, so, uh, as they say in Australia, one day you're a rooster, the next you're a feather duster. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Now, yesterday, for me, the weather was... Uh, I understand better the weather yesterday I feel uh, better the, the thermals uh, it was clear today I understand nothing <laughs> really so but <laughs> okay well, well tell me can you remember what you tell me about yesterday's flight about yesterday's flight it was a uh, first it was a very good uh, team work with my partner uh, uh, she's very very well peel pilot she she started the first, uh, all the class follows uh, her, and I started uh, the last. And she gave me uh, some information so I can uh, catch uh, the group. And, uh, and we flew very well uh, together uh, until uh, the arrival. She, she had a problem in arrival. She pushed, feel, uh, may, maybe uh, a little, uh, a little lot, a little too much. Uh, but uh, until this, uh, we had a, the perfect fly. Really, perfect flight with Aude. It was, uh, we, we were f always high, uh, well, it, was, it was written in the sky. <laughs> right. Really. So you were reading the sky very well. But yeah. But today the wind, I guess, is from a bit of a different direction. Yes, uh, there was, yes, uh, some, um, in France, it's, uh, it's called uh, gradient. Yes. So you have the wind in different direction at a different uh, right. altitude. Yep. And uh, I think it can a little bit disturb the uh, thermals. Yep. So, so the thermals were broken and twisted and you had, yes. you had uh, different shear at different altitudes. And it, so it made it very hard to read. It was hard. Today, for me, it was very hard. <laughs> <laughs> and how has the competition been going? This is this is the uh, the fifth uh, competition day and the, the sixth flying day. Yes, uh, it's it's, uh, it's it's an adventure <laughs> for me because uh, Australia, I didn't know uh, until now. It's uh, I was uh, never so far away from home, <laughs> and uh, weather is very very um, different. Uh, as uh, Europe is changing every day, uh, in the same day there are many, many changes of uh, rhythm. So it's very, um, it's instructive. You, you learn every day and you have to be a very good pilot to, to, to win. <laughs> mm. <laughs> to win this championship, I think. A perfect pilot, I think. I guess, how does it compare in terms of conditions to uh, uh, Slabrovice uh, in the last time when you won last time? Mm, it so last, yeah, in Czechoslovakia. It's, it's a Czechoslovakia. It was good condition for yeah. Europe. Yeah. Uh, strong condition, but uh, less strong yeah. as here. It's not. We cannot compare uh -huh. uh, these two championship. And your your home. Where, where did you? Where where have you done? You learned to learn to glide. I learned uh, gliding in uh, Angers. It's uh, northwest France. Uh -huh. It's a very good place near Nantes, between Nantes and Tours. Uh -huh. uh, near the Loire, Loire Valley. Right. It's a very good place to, to fly. Yeah. And uh, I'm living in uh, South Alps right now in Saint Aubin uh, right. for 10 years ago, from oh. 10 years now. So uh, it's two different um, areas, but uh, I learned in flatland and then I'm uh, 
working <laughs> my flight in the mountain uh, and so. Right, so you've got s several excellent uh, uh, gliding sites, of course, in the south yeah. of France near saint mm. But So you do a lot of mountain flying now. Yes, now I'm uh, doing a lot of mountain flight, yes. Yeah. And you were saying that you, you find the change of rhythm. And uh, Untese was saying the same the other day to mm. me. That she said that the change of rhythm, there's so much change of here. Yes. But surely in the mountains you're always having to change rhythm. Yes, all the but time. you see them, you know, <laughs> you see ah. the mountains higher, you see the valley. You, uh, here it's, uh, we, we fly quite high. And, uh, and with the smoke, uh, unfortunately, we don't see very good uh, the, the, the ground. But you don't see uh, the rhythm as in mountains. Mountains, you know that uh, this uh, mountain is uh, 3,000 meters, so you have to, <laughs> to go up. It's, it's written uh, on the ground. <laughs> right. I guess it's also true with some of the blue days we've been having. You're not even seeing many cloud shadows yeah. on the ground. Mm, yeah. it's, yes, uh, it's, I think it's not. Today it was not blue days. It was maybe easier. But uh, w sometime when you arrive on the clouds, nothing was minus, uh, minus five, minus ten. <laughs> so it was uh, strange. <laughs> yes, well, Australian pilots complain about that all the time. You got to a cloud and it just wasn't working anymore. No, no but uh, it was just uh, not only one cloud <laughs> that not work sometimes. It's all the through street because I didn't have the, the good choice, you know, to... to I, I didn't... Uh, I wasn't on the, on the right side and uh, I didn't realize... Uh, right now okay. so i did mistakes <laughs> well we'll see we don't know what the scores are yet anyway because uh, i think, I think every, <laughs> everybody had a tough day i think yeah. but um you're at number 57 ranked in the world at the moment i believe so that's you've had you've had a very good few seasons so you must have flown several competitions this year in, in france yes yeah. yes uh, in france uh, next year you mean no l yeah uh, your last season last season i did only uh, last season uh, 2019 i didn't fly it a lot i flew uh, a lot uh, in uh, 18 I did the um, the World uh, Gliding Championship in Ostros with men yeah. uh, it was very good uh, competition too in summer class and in France I did the, the uh, France uh, the national championship in summer class too yeah. and uh, so I if I had more time I really really would like to do um, more championship in uh, East Europe you know uh, Nitra uh, uh, in or in Slovakia, and if I had enough time, <laughs> why not coming uh, in uh, in South uh, Hemisphere uh, to fly so in winter? Yeah. You to fly in the winter, yes, mm. yes. Yeah. Okay, well, look, I wish you uh, the best for the rest of the competition. Thank still you.